hello and welcome to this video in today's end-to-end -end data engineering video we're going to see how we can integrate google cloud platform data into microsoft fabric lake house through shortcuts so we're going to build a power bi report on top of that data set without physically loading data into the microsoft fabric so let's get started we're going to go through this diagram. We'll start off by going to our Google Cloud. Basically, we can create a free trial account worth $300. And then we're going to move on to our data engineering workload in Fabric. And then we'll create a lake house and then we'll build a Power BI report on top of that data coming from the GCP. So I'm going to come to this file first. Now, in this file, I've got this GCP data. And of course, we have some columns of data set. I have the date, product, payment type, unit, price, and the sales amount. So this is going to be the data I'm going to ingest into our Google Cloud bucket. Now, bucket refers to the basic container that holds data in the Google Cloud storage. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to come to my web. And this is my console.com cloud.google.com so we want to start by creating a bucket so i'm going to come to this side bar. i'm going to set for bucket and then press enter and for now we can see i've got no buckets created i'm going to click on this create button at the top here and then i can give meaningful name to my bucket so i'm just going to call it a fabric demo 101 and this should be acceptable so i'm going to click on continue and then i can specify where to store my data set so this is going to be basically in multi-region and i'm going to stick with this default anyway click on continue and then we can choose the storage class for our data set so we're going to go with the set default class so i'm going to scroll down and then click on continue and then we maintain the same prevent public access so i'm going to scroll down and then click on continue and then maintain the same data protection scroll down one more time and then click on create so we're going to go ahead and see this public access will be prevented so this is going to be fine so we will enforce public access prevention on this bucket so click on confirm we have the bucket created and this is going to be our google cloud storage so i can get data into this bucket through different kind of means i can upload files folder i can create folder i can even use transfer data so in future video i'm going to show you how we can transfer data in and out but let's focus on uploading files so i'm going to click on that and then i want to browse through the file so i'm going to select that and wait for maybe three or five seconds and there we go we can say uploads and my first project operation and then we can see this is successful with this check mark and there we go so i can click on this gcp data and then i can see the information such as the type the size created last modified and so on and so forth so this is basically how we can create our pocket in the google cloud platform this is super amazing now i'm going to come to my microsoft fabric and then i've got this gcp shortcut workspace created with nothing in so i'm going to swipe at the bottom here and i'm going to choose data engineering workload or experience because i want to create a lake house so i'm going to choose the lake house and then i'm just going to call it gcp data and click on create all right so our lake house is created of course we can see we have no tables and of course no files so to create our shortcuts because the data is actually stored in comma separated value i'm going to come to the files and click on this ellipsis and i want to choose new shortcuts and then we're going to see the new shortcut window now i've got a video on this amazon s3 and of course i just released a video on this azure data lake storage and tool so you can watch them if you want to learn how we can create shortcuts to those external sources so we want to focus on google cloud storage so click on that and then we want to create a new connection so basically we need the url so i'm going to come to my settings in the gcp and i'm going to choose settings here now under the settings we have the project access and the interoperability so we want to click on this interoperability and then we have the h m a c which simply stands for ash message authentication code so i'm going to copy this storage url so i'm going to copy that and paste it so i'm going to paste 
and of course this is not going to work anyway because i've tried this out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually put the name of my bucket so it is required to put the name of your bucket after the four slash so i'm going to come here and of course i'm going to come to the bucket so i can see my bucket is fabric demi 101 this is the key so i'm just going to maintain the name so i'm going to type in fabric underscore demi 101 dot so let me check whether it corresponds okay demi 101 so i have the same thing so lovely so we must put the name of the bucket and then dot storage dot google api dot com and then so this is going to be populated automatically so now we need to provide the HMAC key. So we need the access ID and the secret. Now, to get that is very easy. Again, we're going to come back to our GCP and then we'll click on the same settings yeah. under the same interoperability. So we we'll to click on that again and I'm going to scroll down and then I can see I've got no keys. So I can easily create, let me just cancel this, click on create key so when i click on that this automatically creates the access key for me so i'm going to double click ctrl c to copy i'm going to come back and paste in the access id and then for the secret i'm going to copy the secret so copy that and then i'm going to ctrl v so that's basically what we need for the authentication kind and we can go on and click on next amazing so we've connected to our fabric dme 101 bucket and i can double click so i can see the content so we've got the gcp data.csv which is beautiful now to select in order to move to the next we're going to click on this and then we can click on next lovely and now we can see the shortcut location so this is basically going to go into our file so click on create we have the shortcut in our link as so this is super cool i can double click and then i can see the content the gcp data.csv and then i can load to a delta table in the link out so click on this ellipsis and i want to choose load to tables and i want to choose new table i'm just going to call it um gcp data and then click on load awesome so we have the gcp data as a delta table which is super amazing so i'm going to switch from the lake house to the sql analytics endpoints where i can actually query the data we want to create a power bi report so i'm going to click on new report and then we have the power bi platform which is super cool so i'm going to come back to the sql analytics endpoint so i'm going to write a single measure we want to count how many rows we have in this gcp data so click on new measure and then i want to call this one number of transactions and then i'm going to use the count rows dax function so on the gcp data table and then press enter so lovely i can return back to the untitled power bi report and then i'm going to cancel this so i'm going to search for the transaction i just created the measure dragged onto the report canvas and i'm going to turn this to a card visual and lovely so we have 1782 records or rows let's come to our source data and let's check it out so i'm going to press ctrl shift down our key and there we go 1782 so this is basically how we can create a shortcut to our google cloud platform data in our bucket so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends comment and follow me for more video on data engineering. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.